Hello, and welcome back to Joellen's Kitchen. Today we're going to make almond bars. In Pennsylvania Dutch, they're called Mandel Schnitz. We're going to start with two eggs. We're going to add half a cup of sugar. teaspoon of either lemon or lime juice. You can use fresh. I just happen to have a bottle. Two tablespoons of ice water. I had my water sitting out here to get really good and cold. We're going to take our whisk and we're going to blend that all together really well. That's our base. And to that, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of flour. This is not a hard recipe. and half of a teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to blend that together. To our batter, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of sliced almonds. I bought these already sliced, but I guess if you're good, you can slice them at home. As Pennsylvania Dutch dishes go, this one's actually a little bit healthy with those almonds in there. We're going to put this into our baking pan, just one, that's all it takes. Uh, I have a nine inch square or eight inch square pan. You wanna spray it with your pan so it doesn't stick. And spread this evenly out across the bottom. For the finishing touch, we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar across the top of our batter. We're just going to sprinkle it on the top. It does not get mixed in. Then we're going to bake it. We're going to bake it at 350 degrees until it's golden brown. So I'm going to put the sugar out of the way. Um, there's always somebody viewing us for the first time. And I have an old-fashioned cook stove. It happens to be gas. 
And that is my only oven and stove. Um, I have a microwave, things like that. But as for a con conventional oven, what I have is a gas oven. So let's go make it and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, we'll let the oven do its magic. Um, the oven does not have the degrees on the outside, so I can't set it for 350. I have to judge from the flame uh, that I've been doing all these years. And the other thing is, there's no glass window in the front so you can peek inside. The only way to see how done they are is to open the oven door and look. So, I'll be back when they're done cooking. Thank you. Okay, we're ready to try out our almond bars. Now, I do recommend that you let them cool in the pan and then slice them. So let's check them out. Mighty tasty and also probably very good dunked into some good cold milk. <laughs> 